The rising cost of food is also starting to worry area food banks across DFW as well. They say the need to feed families during the pandemic for them hasn't really stopped. In fact, let me give you a live look here. Chopper 11, we're hovering currently over the Tarrant Area Food Bank's mobile, uh, mega mobile market, as they call it. This is over at Herman Clark Stadium. So we pull out, look at the lines of cars all backed up here, trying to get through and get food for their families. But as our Ken Molestina explains, there are specific products that will soon even get, uh, be harder to come by. In Fort Worth, the Tarrant Area Food Bank has started offering evening food distribution services on Wednesday, and people... We keep hoping that we're going to see reduced numbers, and we're not. ...keep showing up. It's proof of just how much need still exists in the community more than 18 months into the pandemic. Now, food bank leaders like Julie Butner say they're monitoring the spike in food costs closely. Currently, the Tarrant Area Food Bank is stocked, but come next month, if the price of food doesn't stabilize, they'll have a tough time coming up with ways to feed their clients. Supply chain has already seen this price hike uh, among protein items. Those products are going to cost us more money and they're going to be harder to come by. And, and that really that concerns us. Across the Metroplex over at the North Texas Food Bank, the concern is the same. Anytime you see the cost of food rising, it is worrisome for a food bank. But the good news is that we have great retail partners that we work with that can help us through that sort of situation. And the other silver lining on this is that produce cost has ma maintained pretty stable. Dr. Valerie Hawthorne says just last month, the North Texas Food Bank, which serves 13 counties, provided close to 9 million meals. The Tarrant Area Food Bank serves just about as many counties and provided 4 million meals. According to government data, beef is up 14%. Pork is up 12% and poultry up 6.6% from last December. Administrators at our local food bank say they'll do whatever they can. We have to maintain this level of service for the people who need it. To make sure the need is met. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Food bank leaders tell us that they depend greatly on donations and community partners. If you'd like to help out, just give them a call.